Hi everyone and welcome back to another video ng pagre-review natin ng mga tech gadgets. And for today's video, let me show you this Halo W1, another budget earbuds from Halo. By the way, thank you nga pala Halo for sending me this Halo W1 para ma-review natin. So Halo W1 is available into two colors. Meron tayong dark blue and we also have the white color. The price is ranging from 1,600 to 2,000 pesos. Guys, may link tayo below sa may bandang description kung saan nyo pwedeng mabili si Halo W1 and meron din dyan mga link ng kanilang mga Facebook, Instagram, and other social media accounts. Please follow them. Pwede kayo mag-join sa group and to learn more about the W1 and other products ng Halo. But before we proceed to the unboxing, if you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell na rin para updated pag may bago tayong video na ilalabas. And now let me show you what's in the box of Halo W1. I used to have a Halo GT1 Pro, kaya na nakita ko itong Halo W1 na nibago ako kasi kasing laki niya yung mga box ng mga smartwatch ng Halo gaya nga ng Halo Solar at ng Halo RT. Halo W1 has a sleeve box type. You have to slide down to reveal the box that encloses the product and upon opening the black box, it will reveal the left and right earbuds at yung kanyang case. There's an opening at the bottom part of the box. Nandun naman yung kanyang instruction. Type-C cable, and large and small silicon ear cups. To give you an idea of the features of Halo W1, it has Bluetooth 5.2 connection, smart touch control, 4 mic clear calls, Qualcomm 3040 chip, and a 20-hour battery life. All of this and other additional features of Halo W1 will be discussed in this video. Kaya stay tuned, and now let's proceed with the design of Halo W1. Let's start with the charging case. It is rounded square to oval shape, maliit lang at magaan. At the top, may logo ng Halo, and at the front, it has a light indicator. Three lights for the battery percentage of 70 to 100%, two lights for 30 to 69%, and one light for 29% and below. Then may slit to help you easily open the case. Magnetic din to which helps the user to easily close the case securely. You will see the charging port at the back part of the case and I like it kasi naka-type C na siya. And opening the case, makikita mo na yung charging contacts for the earbuds. And now let's proceed with the earbuds. Stylish to si Halo W1. Aside from the white color, it also has a metallic part where the logo is located. It also has LED that serves as an indicator for charging and connecting. Doon din nakalocate yung secondary mic. Below the LED, nandun din yung touchpad or MFB or also known as the multi-function button. At the bottom part of the earbud, the main microphone is located. On the inner side, you will see the charging contacts and the mesh for the speaker. Hindi makapit sa kamay yung charging case ni Halo W1. Kaya I recommend na bilhan nyo na siya ng silicon case para hindi madulas at may protection pag malalaglag. Kasi based on my experience, I think nakatatlong bagsak na ako sa kanya. And yeah, so from naman, okay pa siya, working perfectly. By the way, ergonomic din si Halo W1. Fit siya sa ear canal natin and mas comfortable siya suotin. Actually, suot ko madalas si Halo W1 kapag nagjajag ako and unlike doon sa ibang mga wireless earbuds na nagamit ko, itong si Halo W1, uh, hindi siya lumuluwag sa katagalan at kahit meron kang madaming movements. And speaking of gamit, let's talk about the performance and features ng Halo W1. Let's begin with the Bluetooth 5.2. This new version of Bluetooth was just announced in the early 2020 and this new version of Bluetooth helps the W1 to have a convenient connection and faster transmission. Actually guys, sa pilis niya kumunik, aangat mo pa lang siya sa charging case niya. Ayan, connected na agad siya sa device mo. But syempre, on first use, kailangan mo muna silang ipag-pair. Pero on the following na paggamit mo sa kanya, matik na siyang co-connect doon sa last device na kinunik niya. It also has nose driver, so hindi ito si Beyonce nose. And to give you an idea what driver is, the driver converts the electric signal into sound. Kaya yung naririnig natin sa ating mga speaker at saka sa ating mga earphones or earbuds, that is produced by the driver. And... NOS is one of the leading corporation when it comes to producing microphones and speakers. So imagine si Halo W1, meron siyang NOS driver. It is also equipped with Qualcomm APTX Adaptive. So Qualcomm APTX Adaptive is, it is another technology used for Bluetooth earphones. Let me say that this is the one responsible for dynamic no latency and HD quality audio. And when you say adaptive, from the name itself, it automatically adjusts kung ano 
yung activity mo. Kung nanonood ka ba, nakikinig, or naglalaro. So, si Qualcomm MPTX Adaptive, yung mag-change na automatically para ma-provide niya yung mas magandang audio output sa ating earbuds. It also has ingress protection or IP X4. So, meron siyang protection pagdating sa liquid. So, it is a water resistant. So, aside from being a water resistant, it also has anti-oxidation vacuum technology. But then again, it is water resistant but not waterproof. Therefore, it only has protection with this splash or powis but not on heavy rains and showers and other na masyadong mabasa. By the way, I am pertaining to the earbuds. Siya yung merong ingress protection. Pero in charging case, wala. So, ingatan niyo siya. <laughs> okay, question. Pwede ba ako mag-swimming ng suot-suot si Halo W1? No. <laughs> no, dahil hanggang 4 lang yung IP rating niya in terms of liquid. And yeah, hanggang shower or powis lang yung pwede sa kanya. Hindi pwede mga masyadong heavy duty na pag-ulan or pagbasa. As I mentioned, meron din touch control si Halo W1. Pag nasa charging case si Halo W1, tapos in-open mo yung lid ng ganyan, automatically magpa-power on na siya. And kung halimbawa, uh, nalabas mo na yung earbuds pero naka-off pa rin siya, long press mo lang yung MFB button for 1.5 seconds and then mag na siya. May maririnig ka or makikita mo rin naman na nag white na yung kanyang LED. And to turn it off, pilitin mo lang ulit yung MFB or multifunction button ng 4.5 seconds and then mag red na yung LED. And yeah, meron ka rin naman maririnig. And other controls na very useful when you're outside so you don't have to make labas your phone para makontrol mo yung audio mo. Meron touch control si Halo W1. So pipilitin mo lang yung mga MFB based sa gusto mong action. Single tap to play or pause the music. Double click naman sa left earbuds para mag skip track backward. And double click naman sa right earbud para mag next track ka. Pero kung may tawag ka naman, either sa left or right ang i-click mo, one tap lang din to answer and one tap lang din to end the call. Triple click naman to start new voice assistant. So halimbawa sa Google, lalabas yung Google Voice Assistant. But in my experience, merong konting delay. I think it is like uh, half of a second from the moment you tap and then yung response ni Halo W1. And now let's talk about the sound quality of Halo W1. Via call or in-game, with the help of noise reduction, mas clear ka maririnig ng mga kausap mo. Kapag yung mga malilit na ingay gaya ng electric fan or aircon and other mga unwanted sounds, i-eliminate niya yun. Boses mo lang yung mas ma-enhance and kung meron mga mas malapit sa yung tunog. Yun nga lang, the only downside na uh, napasig mo dito, uh, downside siya in a sense na okay naman. When you're not speaking, it is almost quiet. Ganun, ganun siya katahimik. So, akalain nung kausap mo, na-disconnect ka, or nakamit ka. And when listening to music, okay yung bass may dagundong, malinaw yung vocals together with the instruments on the background, pero mas ma-appreciate mo si Halo W1 if you are listening into acoustic sound. And in-undergo ko rin si Halo W1 sa binaural test, and natuwa ako sa result, kasi napaka-realistic nung sound na narinig mo kay Halo W1. Pag pumikit ka, para kang na-immerse doon sa senaryo ng sound na maparirinig mo. Yung footsteps, mararamdaman mo na para naglalakad talaga sa likod, and then yung sound ng gunting, nasa taas talaga siya, and then yung usapan ng mga tao, maririnig mo from left to right, and then yung ambient sound. So, ang galing. Nakakatawa. And now, for the battery of Halo W1. For each earbud, meron siyang 32mAh na battery capacity. And doon naman sa charging case niya, it has 310mAh. When in use, both earbuds could last 4 to 5 hours. And almost 2 hours naman to charge the earbuds in the charging case. And speaking of charging case, to fully charge, it will take up to 3 hours. And you can also recharge the earbuds on the charging case for 5 times. So kahit nasa biyahe ka na malayo, you could expect na for 20 hours, magagamit mo si Halo W1. And that's all from my review of Halo W1. If you have any question or suggestion, please leave your comments below. And if you like the content of this channel, please subscribe and hit the notification bell rin to be updated kapag meron tayong bagong video na ilalabas. Once again, this is me, El Palanca, with Halo W1. Thank you for watching and see you on my next video.